New tonight at 10 o'clock. Take a look. The question is, do you recognize this vandal? Some surveillance cameras outside the Reading Terminal Market captured a suspect pumping what appears to be paint, spraying it onto a block worth of windows of the 128-year-old building. Some of the paint has caused some severe damage there. Action News reporter Christy Aletto has the full story. Walking east down Filbert Street, a man armed with what appears to be a paint sprayer pumps paint onto the windows of Reading Terminal, the south side of the nearly 130 year old building, a target of vandalism. We saw an individual who was um, looked like they were very intentionally garbed and sprayed the entire Filbert block. Multiple cameras, one suspect and an undisclosed amount of damage discovered early Thursday morning. We've seen some graffiti, but never the length that it hit. Vincent Iovine has been at Reading Terminal for 30 years. His windows were hit. It's a very tough year and then you know you're, things are starting to get better right. and it's just like oh, you know they need that exactly. And so you can still see some of the exactly the you can see some of the left. The windows were power washed but the paint left serious damage on the historic brick and wood siding that will now have to be restored. It's not clear what prompted the vandalism but Philadelphia police are aware and are now investigating. The incident, an added blow. Just last fall, a GoFundMe effort was launched to keep the lights on during the pandemic. Have a great day. Considered one of the nation's oldest public markets, Reading Terminal remains home to some 70 small businesses. It is salt in the wound. Uh, it is. But we have an incredibly resilient merchant family here, and we have incredibly loyal customers. Now, next week, Reading Terminal will be launching an online summer fundraiser. The proceeds will go to building maintenance, including making repairs to this week's vandalism. Also, if you recognize the man in that surveillance video, you're asked to contact authorities.